turn in your five questions uh, on uh, Piaget and Kohlberg. Today we're talking about Piaget and Kohlberg, and these two guys are psychologists, scientists, um, who basically were at the forefront in, in the 1900s, um, at the forefront of talking about child development, adolescent development, child psychology, and uh, human behavior, and uh, moral development. So this guy, Kohlberg, Lawrence Kohlberg, was uh, in the 60s, came up with some theories that talked about moral development. He actually put some standards to it. Um, and he based a lot of his work on what uh, Piaget did. Okay, Piaget, uh, in the 1930s, uh, spoke a lot about this in child development. He came up with a system um, by which he evaluated young people to see where they were on a scale of child development. Uh, one of the things that Piaget did, which was really cool, is um, he told stories. And when he told the stories, then he would ask these big theme questions um, and ask the questions to, to the children. And when they would give the answer, he would rank them into a classification. And um, so he did that. Now, Kohlberg, what he did in the 60s, is he liked that. So he was a storyteller. And he would sit down children and ask them the same questions. Usually the questions he was asking them was on some sort of a moral theme. And the most famous work that he did, Kohlberg, um, was called the Heinz Dilemma. And let me, let me tell you a little bit about the Heinz Dilemma in the story. It's a really cool story. Basically, what he did is he posed this question, I think it was 72 um, children in Chicago, is where he did his study. But he came up with this story, the Heinz Dilemma. And the Heinz Dilemma was this. It had to do with a guy in Europe, and the guy in Europe, his wife, had cancer. And basically, he went to the doctor, and he had found out there was a new medication that was going to cure this cancer. Well, of course, you know, I want, to, I want my wife to, to live, so uh, I'm going to the doctor, and I'm going to get the medication. Well, interesting enough, the doctor decides that the doctor is going to charge him ten times the amount of what the medicine is actually worth. Has anyone ever kind of seen that go on in, in our society today? I mean, it's happening all the time. You're blowing up the prices. So he's, he's, he's posing this dilemma to the children, all right? And so the wife um, is sick, and um, the doctor's trying to charge 10 times the amount for the medication. And so what he does is he says, well, I can't pay it. He only had half the money. So what he decides to do is I'm going to go in the evening, I'm going to break into the doctor's office, and I'm going to steal the medicine. All right? So Kohlberg's moral to the story basically is he asked the children, well, is that right? Is that wrong? What would you do in that situation? Okay, so he posed four questions. And um, let me read off the questions, and then I want you to give me an answer. We'll talk briefly about some of these questions. First question he said is, should Heinz have stolen the drug? Give me an answer. What do you think? Discuss it. Yes. No. Yes. Why? Who said no? Why would you say no? Why shouldn't he have stolen the drug? Did you say no? Who said no? Why would you say no? It's morally incorrect to steal, right? But wait a second. My wife's dying. Can I steal when my wife's dying? Who said yes? I said yes. It's morally incorrect, but at the same time, you go to extreme measures to protect the ones that you love. Okay, so you would say that that maybe is a higher level of decision making, right? Correct. So you I have this wife that's sick, but I know something's morally incorrect, so I have to weigh all my options and then do what I think is right. So it's a life or death situation. So judgment and morality sometimes is indicative of other things, right? Yeah. I would say that uh, the doctrine, like, willfully raising the price would change my answer quite a bit. Like, I, I think... It, Is he morally incorrect? Yes. So the sure. doctor's morally incorrect as well. Well, we got a lot of more morality issues here. All right, so great thought. So he posed these questions. Uh, let me read a couple of the other ones. It said, would it change anything in Heinz... Uh, would it change anything if Heinz did not love his wife? Number three says, what if the person dying was a stranger? 
would it make any difference? So these are questions that, you know, these are just real life questions. So here's what uh, Kohlberg basically came up with. He was looking at this to try to establish a foundation uh, to determine what morality was. And when did morality start? And how do children develop based on morality? And Piaget did a lot of studies on um, development of children and looked at some other things as well. He also looked at morality. Um, but these are the three things. You have on your desk Kohlberg's theory, and you also have the pyramid, Kohlberg's pyramid, that has the six components to it. All right, so if we look at this chart right here, we have three levels. So we have the darkest shade, level one. We have the second darkest shade, level two, and then level three. Okay, so level three on this is the highest level of morality. We just had that discussion talking about uh, Heinz's dilemma. Would you say, Cole, that um, what we were just discussing at was the highest level of moral judgment? Yeah. Yeah, so you're making multiple types of decisions to determine what your morality is going to be. Okay? Um, the basic, if we look at um, level one and level two, or level one, the first two uh, parts right there, we call this pre-conventional, pre-conventional morality. Pre-conventional morality basically says this. It says that we don't have a moral code yet. So young ones, typically classified under nine years old, uh, young ones, what, what are decisions made on by young person, people? Yeah, so all the decisions are based on outcomes of discipline or behavior, uh, what mom or dad says to do, what the teacher says to do. So they, they really don't have an internal moral judgment yet. Everything they do has to do with typically somebody else, right? So good. The second thing, um, uh, the second level of morality, which includes conformity and social order, uh, we internalize the moral code of valued adults. So what does that mean? Can anyone answer that? What, what's going on in the second level of morality? It's usually uh, pre-teens and teens. What are the important things? Yes? Keep relationships like between friends or family. Okay, so we see that in school here, right? Relationships are key. And what in a relationship do we typically want to um, be in that relationship? How do we want to be perceived? Good, good morally, right? So we want our friends to look at us in a way that says, yeah, he's, he's a cool kid because he's, he does the right thing, and that's the friend group I want to hang out with, right? So this is, this is stage two, okay, conventional. Stage three is post-conventional. Individual judgment is based on self-chosen principles and moral reasoning. Okay, so what, we, what I talked about with Cole there and in the Heinz dilemma, this is a higher level of morality. We already understand what rules are, we understand what discipline, consequences, all those things are. But now we have kind of some gray areas that we have to make decisions on. All right? So these are these are our moral decisions based on more than just one or two things. Okay? And Okay, now we're going to take what we just learned and put it into practice. We're going to play a game. It's called Kahoot. I mean, you guys have played this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to log on, um, and you'll have your login number come in, and then your names are going to come up. Uh, we're just going to ask you three questions, and I want you to um, do the questions you know as, as fast as you can with as best accuracy as you can. All right, so I'm logging into uh, AirPlay right now, and... Coming up. All right, so uh, we're going to play. <coughs> okay, here should, should be your pin coming up. Alright, that's your pin. You're going to put that in, and then it's going to ask you for your name. Once it asks you for your name, you put your name or nickname in.
All right, so here come the names up. was a psychologist. All right, next question. Emma's in the lead. Okay, nobody put Justin Bieber. That's good. All right. Um, Lawrence Kohlberg uh, was the person that developed the six uh, stages of moral development. Okay, last question. Emma's still in the lead. Okay. We've Larry. I'm I think we should do a rock, paper, scissors for the victory. So. I'm Larry. All right. And